Hi, I'm Milan from Keytech Industries. Today, we will show you how you can drive various polymers before extrusion. If you want to make high quality 3D printing filament, drying your granulate is key. Wet material will have a bad flow consistency and you will have bubbles because the water evaporates at the extruder nozzle. The drying process is very similar to drying filament. There are several different methods you can use to dry polymers. You can use an oven, a dehydrator or a vacuum dryer. But in this video, we will focus on a self-built dry box because this method delivers the best results while being cheap, easy and energy efficient. To make our dry box, we simply use a plastic box that we upgrade with some window seals to make it airtight. Then we get two kilos of silica gel. and a hygrometer to check the humidity inside the dry box. You might already know silica gel from a shoe box. They usually come in these small bags in order to keep the inside dry by absorbing any moisture. Now we fill our granulate in a microplastic bag, in our case one from Guppy Friend, and place it in the box. We use a microplastic bag because it keeps the material in place while the humidity can get out. Filling it in loosely is also possible but not very convenient. You will have a rather hard time to get it out. In the case of PLA, ABS and Acer, about 4 grams of water per kilogram are removed from the granulate. Using an oven or dehydrator, you will need a bit longer to achieve such a low material humidity and use a lot more energy. We usually leave the granulate in the dry box for a day, but after around 3 hours the humidity of a material doesn't really decrease much further. To measure how much moisture has been absorbed, you can weigh the granulate beforehand and afterwards. Another problem we encountered is overheating the plastic in the oven, resulting in a big mess. After a month or so, you might notice that the humidity in the dry box starts to increase. This means that your silica gel has absorbed its maximum capacity of water and needs to be dried. Simply put it in the oven at about 60 degrees for one or two hours and it should be as good as new. This was how you can dry your own granulate and achieve high quality extrusion results. Make sure to follow us on social media to not miss fantastic content and exclusive behind the scenes clips we post every couple days. Stay up to date on our progress and updates and enjoy funny videos.